Hey there, my name is Peyton Macy's and you're listening to AnyCast. AnyCast is about anything and everything. We have some cool guests on sometimes, or sometimes it's just me. But enjoy today's episode and I hope you learn something new. Welcome back to AnyCast, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I just got done watching Space Jam, which is the next in our Warner Brothers 100-year celebration. And I forgot to mention something in the last uh, podcast. At least I think I did. I know that Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings are very big franchises for Warner Brothers. Same thing goes with DC. I will definitely not be reviewing any of the Harry Potter films or Lord of the Rings or really any of Middle Earth um, for this because I'm actually going to have those reviews uh, at a different time on this podcast. I'm not exactly sure when. It's not like this year or next year. Um, Maybe Middle Earth next year, but Harry Potter, I'm not really sure. Um. But I just wanted to get that out of the way. And then the thing with DC, I don't really think I'm going to do any DC movies. um, Because I've already reviewed The Dark Knight. I reviewed The Batman. Yes, I could go and watch The Batman with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. But I'm like, eh. And then I looked and I couldn't find uh, Superman for free. Or else I would have watched the original Superman and probably reviewed that. And I just want to get that all out of the way. Anyways. Space Jam. You know, Warner Brothers made the Looney Tunes, right? It was their very first cartoon ever. It's iconic. It's funny. Dozens of great characters. You know, you got Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck. Uh, You have um, Yosemite, Yosemite Sam. Yeah, Yosemite Sam. You got Elmer Fudd. You got... um, Oh my gosh, the rooster guy who I forgot his uh, name, uh, but y'all know who I'm talking about, uh, the chicken man. Uh, you got Pepe Le Pew, you got uh, uh, Speedy Gonzalez, you got uh, like everybody, right? You got all these different characters. You got the Tasmanian devil, you got um, Tweety Bird, you got uh, Sylvester the cat, um, and it's just always you know they they got their own little shows going on and every episode is funny you know it's it kind of follows a formulaic uh thing but it's really uh, funny episodes you know iconic episodes and in the 90s they decided to make a movie about them playing uh the looney tunes all gathering up to play basketball against aliens because the aliens uh, served their ma- some master who ran an amusement park and they needed a new attraction. So they were, the Looney Tunes were betting in this uh, basketball game, uh, literally their entire human rights um, in a way, because if they lose, they're going to become slaves. And if they win, then they don't. And then there's a twist. These short little alien monsters that the Looney Tunes meet uh, ended up uh, stealing the powers of popular NBA players at the time. And they become like these super monster giants. Uh, they look like they're jacked up on steroids or something. And, you know, they're just massive monsters. And then it's like an unfair game for the uh, Looney Tunes. So they get the best known uh, basketball player. But this basketball player has retired, and now he's playing baseball. And they get Michael Jordan. And, you know, Michael Jordan, they get him back in the game. He's coming back for basketball just to win the freedom of all these guys. And it's just a fun movie. Uh, It's really funny. 
um a very uh it's just awesome i love this movie um i grew up watching this movie not as much as some of the other movies that i've reviewed on here but it is one that i have seen uh, quite a bit uh, i loved basketball i still do even though i don't even watch the games i still love the sport um i was you know loving the nba when i first watched this movie very involved with the lakers and the golden state warriors um and you know getting to see this movie you got michael jordan here the greatest uh player in the league uh or used to be the best in the league i mean if you're looking at the entire league overall i'd say he still is the best um steph curry's pretty good but you know that's it that's a conversation for a totally different podcast but you know you have this movie and they get Michael Jordan. Uh, they even get like Charles Barkley, Larry Bird, and a couple of other NBA stars. Uh, admittedly, Larry Bird and Charles Barkley have these very small roles. Um, you even get Bill Murray in this movie, which I forgot about. And is he's just legendary in this movie. You know, he's like, I want to be in the NBA. And everybody's like, I don't really know if you can be in the NBA. Like, I don't, I don't really have faith in you. And then we have one of my favorite... Um, uh, comedian actors um i think he's a pretty funny guy wayne knight um you might know him from jurassic park he was N- uh, nedry nedry and if you if you've seen jurassic park he's the one with the barber soul uh, that you know is actually like a weapon and he's like the guy who screws everything up and then he uh is the villain and then he gets killed by the dinosaurs great movie He's in Dirty Dancing. He is Stan in that. He's like this, like, he's a stand-up comedian in that movie for, like, a very little bit. Um, He's been in countless other movies. Hercules, the regular show. uh, I believe the regular show movie. Maybe just the regular show in general. Kung Fu Panda, Toy Story 2, and, of course, Seinfeld, which is one of his most more well-known roles was Seinfeld. He did start there. And then, of course, like Jurassic uh, and Dirty Dancing are very big for him alongside this movie. Like if we're just looking at movies, <clears throat> Jurassic would be number one. I'd say Space Jam is number two, and um, Dirty Dancing is number three on how well known uh, in the movie scape that he is. And he just plays like the funny, uh, bumbling idiot of an assistant who kind of just gets on Michael's nerves. And he finally gets to play basketball for a little bit in the end of the movie. But it's just a good movie. Um, I'm a very big fan of movies where there's animation and humans. I think they're very interesting and unique. Uh, And immediately, I've only seen two. No, I've seen three. There's like another Looney Tunes movie. They tried doing this, I think, in the 2000s or 2010s. it wasn't that great but the two that i really love are of course this and roger rabbit um who framed roger rabbit great movies and i just love the the comedy that uh you know the interactions between a human and a cartoon can uh implement the stories in both of those movies i think are really good um admittedly i would probably watch a roger rabbit any day over a space jam it's nothing against space jam it's just Roger Rabbit, in my opinion, has a superior storyline. It uh, it has Christopher Lloyd in it, but that's a that's a totally different podcast. That someday I will do. I will get through the book, the first book, and then review the movie and do a little bit of a comparison. But you know, Space Jam, it's unique. You know, it it was a way to reintroduce the Looney Tunes. Like they were trying to make efforts with these uh movies uh for kids. I think they were more like TV movies though. I don't know if they released in theaters um, in the, I think, late 80s, early 90s. And most of them were, like, spoofing different things. And they are just, like, okay. And then you get Space Jam. And not only are you getting uh, 2D animation, you're also getting, in some scenes, three-dimensional animation. Actually, I guess a lot of the scenes, three the animation with 2d figures um hand-drawn looking it's it's cool you know it was uh innovative for the time it's a weird mashup you know you take the most uh arguably the most popular person in sports and especially in the 90s definitely the most popular 
and you have him team up with the Looney Tunes to play basketball in a kind of ridiculous plot, but it all works together, and it just makes for a memorable movie, um, and it's it's a beloved cult classic, um, and yeah, I mean, I love this movie. It is, to me, one of the movies that Warner Brothers has made that stands out to me. Like, when I think of Warner Brothers, I think of, uh, I think first really Looney Tunes is what I think of. Um, Looney Tunes and then Harry Potter. Like, that's what I think of is Looney Tunes and Harry Potter. And then Looney Tunes, I always think of Space Jam. Uh, I guess also The Matrix now, but, you know, we already reviewed that this week. Um, I get, uh, Also DC, I guess, because that's pretty big now. But, you know, Looney Tunes is one of the first things that I think of. And I always think about Space Jam. So this to me is like one of the movies that I think, um, it was one of the movies that I watched knowing it was Warner Brothers at the time. And I was like, oh, this is a great movie. There's other Warner Brothers movies I've seen, you know, um, countless of others, some of which we'll review. Um, Like The Goonies, we're not going to review that one, sadly. Um... And sadly, because my DVD doesn't work and I couldn't find it for free. Um, but, you know, movies like this and the Goonies, like those, those are the movies that stand out to me. And Beetlejuice, that it's like, oh, yeah, I grew up with this. Uh, this is the experience that I've had with Warner Brothers. And it's really nice to see uh, the Looney Tunes. And also, I guess I could even take it to the point of... Um, I... I went to Six Flags a few times uh, before I left California, and I think I went there three times. I might have went there four times. I think one of the times, yeah, I think four because one of the times was actually with the my school. Um, and if you know, I don't know how other Six Flags work, but the one Six Flags Magic Mountain in uh, California, it's like an hour away from LA, maybe a little bit more than an hour. Um, it was pretty close to my house. Like it was, I mean, pretty close to me, like 60 minutes, but still pretty close compared to Disney. Uh, I mean, if you, depending on the day, you might be able to get there in 45, 50 minutes. Um, but nevertheless, that entire park, you know, they had, um, a Looney Tunes theme for the kids land. So that every single ride that you would ride, if you were standing in line, you would be watching old reruns of Looney Tunes cartoons. So it was definitely something that I grew up uh, around. And uh, um, it's not like I watched Looney Tunes more than Mickey Mouse uh, growing up, but it, it was something that was uh, there uh, more so than some other uh, properties out there that other people grew up with. So I guess that... Uh, you know, I've been around the Looney Tunes for quite some time. And this is just like a good movie. Like if you're a fan of basketball, you're a fan of Jordan, you're a fan of uh, animation and uh, live action movies. Great. This one works well for you. Oh, the other one is Mary Poppins that I was thinking of. That's the third movie that I, I actually like as well. You know, um, and that might be playing into it as well. You know, like Mary Poppins, uh, that's a movie I did grow up on and I watched a lot of times. Um, and I loved how it combined that stuff. And then I watched this and then I watched Roger Rabbit. But needless to say, the Looney Tunes are legendary. Um, I don't think they're as popular today as they have been. Uh, I do know Lego like a year or two ago tried doing some Looney Tunes stuff, and it actually, it, I think it did good for them, um, you know, it, it's Space Jam 2, uh, two years ago, um, it performed pretty horrifically, um, and there's a multitude of reasons why, I think the biggest one is it came out during the pandemic in 2021, that movie did come out, I'm not gonna review that movie, I'm, I'm not gonna watch that movie, I probably will never watch that movie. Um, I just don't care to. I only heard it was not a great movie at all. Um, but, you know, the Space Jam legacy endures. Uh, you you always see those people with like, or I always see people with uh, Space Jam merchandise on. And it's always from the original. 
I guess actually when the new one came out, they released some new designs, but you know, people still love Space Jam. It's a still a popular movie. It's a still a movie that uh, even people my age um, are like, oh yeah, I grew up with that movie. And they'll watch it every once in a while. And it's like, oh, I love that movie. You know, like you mentioned Space Jam. Everybody knows what you're talking about. And it's Michael Jordan. Um, and that probably really did help it as well. You know, when you have the biggest star in the NBA and in athletics overall in your movie, and surprisingly, he's actually like, he, he's a good actor for this role. You know, he, he did good. And this is, I think, like his only movie. He did good, you know hand it just works well um but yeah that's all i got for you guys on um the looney tunes in space jam uh go check out space jam space jam's a gr- it's just a great movie uh highly encourage you guys to go check that movie out um i'm sure you guys would like it uh quite a lot um and with that being said i don't believe i have any announcements for you guys um yeah i don't got any i don't got anything for this channel this podcast oh actually i do um usually i upload videos on sundays on 9 11 i'm gonna have a video coming out on my youtube channel that i think you guys will really like about uh pieces of media that were altered because of the attacks on 9-11 and I had um a good time uh researching and learning about this stuff because I had heard it was a pretty big thing and I started digging into it and I was like "Ooh, this is pretty big and uh it's great I think you guys are gonna really love it um I'm actually pulling up right now any cast YouTube um uh, if you've been on all my live streams, I think you probably already saw what's in the back end. Uh, and there's quite a bit in the back end. Uh, and I think after that, because we have a John Wick. Oh, yeah, I should have probably mentioned that in the last one. Uh, the John Wick tier list is out. You guys can see my entire ranking. I will probably upload that in november i'll probably upload a few of my video uh youtube videos as podcasts in like november um i've been slacking on that with you guys sorry about that um oh and then after that i have uh my top 15 tv shows uh which i think you guys are gonna enjoy it's it's very similar to my top 20 movies um and then after that, I have a gaming video that I'm interested to see how that performs. And I'm not going to spoil the game, but it is a, let's just say a ridiculous game. And it is, uh, it is exciting playing it. But that's all I got for you guys. Um, go check out Space Jam. It's somewhere. I think all the Warner Brother movies are on HBO. Or I'm sorry, Max. So if you guys have Max... I'm sure you guys can find every single movie I'm going to review. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'd say buy this movie. This movie's great. So that being said, peace out. Have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Ciao.